Hello and welcome back to the channel of Majel at 92, the Shaman of Gaming. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you uh, the first half of, you know, these two videos that I am um, on the subject of Battlefield 3 um, COD Killer. So the first, uh, the first video is, um, you know, whilst I've been playing Battlefield 3 for a while, you know, I've had a few games leveled up, got to mess around with, you know, quite a few of the... Um, the attachments, optics, you know, all that sort of thing, the different kits. And uh, and then the second video is going to be, once I've played Modern Warfare 3, I'll, I'll upload another Battlefield 3 video, um, you know, saying if I think this can outdo it. So, is Battlefield 3 the COD killer for now? Uh, in short, no. <laughs> And uh, and I'll give you the you know the long version why I think this this is so. And uh, just so you know, this, this game is you know it's not amazing. I'm not I'm not a Battlefield player to be honest. Um, you know I, I finished I finished as the MVP, but you know I'm 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 not amazing. So you know it's a mediocre gameplay at best. Um, but anyway, I'll give you the long. Uh, version of why I think that this game will, will just can't outdo COD in, in, in my eyes. Um, this is a, a TDM, and um, what it basically does is shrink some maps down, you know, away from um, the game modes such as Brush and Conquest, and makes them into this sort of linear small map. Um, see, this is the sort of thing, right? Th this is supposed to be dedicated servers. I, I understand that, you know, maybe you could. If there's a, a server in, you know, the United States, at me in in the UK would be would struggle on it. But still, this just it, it's just not acceptable for me just to, to be having to lag around. See that grenade just flew. My hand didn't even move up. But um, what I will say for this game is the core the core physics of the game. And when it's not you know having when it's not problematic and it's not having these problems then you know the core of the game is brilliant you know graphically it's as good as I expected it to be the campaign I really enjoyed it um, just finished it today um, you know and, and like I say the core idea and the core game is you know it's what I want to see from a first person shooter but these problems just they're not ones that are easily you know just uh, ignored sort of like you know um, when you're playing Modern Warfare 2 you get you know you get noob tubed the thing is I can put up with that because the rest of the game just serves me well um, whereas I don't know this game I, I've been struggling on it because of certain problems the spawn system and I, I discussed this with one, of my, with one of my mates actually the spawn system is just it's terrible it, it is really really bad the thing is in TDM you can't I don't think you can spawn other than you know when you play you play squad deathmatch if you play team deathmatch it's basically like mercenary um, and you, you don't have a squad so you, you can only spawn at the random spawn point and in my eyes you should not be able to get seen as soon as you spawn and there's a time in this game where I actually get shot in the back uh, the second that I spawn and I was discussing with mate maybe this is just just for TDM um, for one even if it isn't just in TDM I just I don't think that's acceptable to be able to you know have that happen to you but even when I was playing rush and I'm not spawning on my on my teammates you know if you spawn on your teammate and they're in trouble then it's your fault if you die from that you know I get that but there's been times where I've spawned at the deployment and there's pe been people there and, um, you know, sat just outside where we can, where, you know, the end of the map is. And um, it's really frustrating and I I've been having a lot of lag issues and, you know, where I live, the co my connection personally is not, isn't not bad. But the thing is, it says these, you know, like I said earlier about maybe getting, you know, an American server would be difficult for me. If you go on the server you know where you can choose which server you want to go on it, it shows pretty much all european ones for me so i'm guessing it puts me into european ones majority of the time but anyway yeah the spawn system is uh it's really it's messed up and uh i think some of the balance issue is uh you know there's well there is balance issues here it is just watch this and see if you agree with it should this happen because I really don't think that should happen. You know, if there's Battlefield fans watching this, I'm not I'm not downing this game as a whole. I'm just saying that the problems that it has 
don't attract me to play in it really. And I'd even go in, go as far as, as saying I, I actually don't like this game. I don't like the multiplayer on it. I can go as far as saying that. Um, you know, that's my opinion. I'm not saying it's terrible. You know, it's just the problems are too hard to handle for me. And it, as I was getting back, well, back on topic, um, you know, the balance issues it has. Some of the weapons, I just find that every time I get into a gunfight with an M16, I lose. Um, no matter what happens. And uh, and I keep getting delayed hit markers as well, which is weird. I don't, like, somebody sat still and... <clears throat> Uh, excuse me. Somebody sort of sat still, and I put you know quite a few bullets into them, and uh, it delays before it starts actually hurting them. And then sometimes it'll flash onto them. Still got like eighty percent health. I just I, I don't understand it. Um, you know, say what you will, but uh, to me it's just it's so hard to to be able to put up with that. As I will say, I am a COD player. You know, I'm I'm not massively experienced in, in Battlefield um, you know the actual Battlefield series itself and then the Bad Company series I, I played the two Bad Company games and the, what I'd say about the spawning and, and, and such in this is I didn't see this happen in Bad Company 2 which is you know it's not like you know something that maybe maybe COD players should just have to put up with if they, if they play um, you know they come and play on play uh, battlefield but i don't understand this um you know you you're a, you're a battlefield player you're a cod player the battlefield players don't like cod players and don't like cod you know i i, I don't really understand that i i'm going to get well i've got already got this obviously and um, uh, and have you know i'm going to get uh, modern warfare 3 and you know i wanted to try this out because I don't have a lot of Battlefield experience, but this isn't the game for me, personally. I don't think it will um, kill COD whatsoever, because, uh, and I don't even think it's got a sniff of a chance of doing that. Um, the COD community is probably the biggest in gaming, maybe other than like Minecraft. This is a nice line of sight, by the way, for anybody who wants to play this this game, you know, a little bit more. But anyway, uh, yeah. Except for possibly like Minecraft, you know, and, and stuff like that, and like StarCraft games like that, I've got like huge, you know, fan bases. But COD is bigger, and and this game will not win over any COD players, which is the only way um, that Battlefield will beat COD is if it wins over some of their fans. And this won't do it because it's the thing is what I have noticed about this game is that you can actually play it like um, like COD a lot more than you could on you know bad company too you can sort of rush on this and you can be quick you can camp if that's your your uh, you know your your way of playing so it's this is look he just disappeared and went back and uh, no hit marker there and he get picked off on the side but anyway uh, back on topic yeah you can sort of you know have a lot of different styles of play See that's another. See that that was terrible spawning. You know, I, it was to my advantage, but I'm still going to complain about it because that's awful. But um, yeah, it it sort of lets lets itself into having so a lot of different types of players. This game and um, on the basics of the game, the whole thing is similar to the way I, I sort of saw it in the in the beta. That um. You know the beta had a lot of problems. You know there was the 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 floor, you know, glitching into the floor, and uh, you know all that sort of thing. Um, you know, just passing into objects and being able to shoot through rocks and bits of earth. But um, but when it wasn't doing that, I really enjoyed it. And this game, you know, I do enjoy it when it's not, you know, it's not just showing me all this bullshit. Um. And uh, you know, this is coming from somebody. This is coming from somebody who hasn't had that bad a time, per like score-wise, on this game. This is an epic fail. Um, you know, score-wise, I've been doing okay. You know, I'm not doing too badly, but I still just think it just lacks what I what I really need. You know, um, and you know, it's like COD. Even Modern Warfare 3 will have problems. You know. But I just think they'll be a little bit more manageable. You'll be able to sort of, you know, manage them and maybe put up with them. 
a little bit more than you can with this game or the cod players can with this game so when when i finished you know this video obviously which is pretty much done now um and i've uh and I've made the second video when I've played Modern Warfare 3 and then he upload, you know, the second part of this. I actually don't think I'll probably play this multiplayer again. I might play through the campaign again because I miss some of the achievements and play it on hard difficulty or what, whatever. But, you know, the the campaign is is awesome. You know, the like I said, graphically it's perfect. The basics, the, the core aspects of the game are really, really good. It's just got these problems that are just becoming so frustrating to me because... I want a first person shooter to play and you know a new one so that's basically why I bought this game because you know there was a lack of first person shooters that I was really enjoying playing but this is hasn't fallen into the category of games that I'm going to you know spend massive mass amounts of time on because it's just I don't know it's just not falling for me you know correctly at the moment um, you know, maybe if they do a patch or something, I'll, I'll I'll change my mind. But you know, up to now, before playing Modern Warfare 3, I don't think Battlefield 3 will be the COD killer. And uh, you know, that's just my opinion on it. So you know, leave a comment, tell me your opinions and your views on it, and uh, and then obviously on the second video, you can you can do the same and uh, you know, give me your opinions once you've played uh, Modern Warfare 3. Too.